Okay, so let's address the notion that boats go over the horizon by using logic and reason, something sorely missing in today's society, where it seems regurgitating a narrative over and over again is sadly removing this ability from most people and is also dumbing down the population into thoughtless, brainless zombies. So let's begin. Using my own observation of the Stena Hibernia as it made its way from Haitian to the Isle of Man, I will show you how to critically analyse what we are seeing, as opposed to simply believing that you are seeing it go over Earth curve. First, we need to acknowledge several things. One, the inferior mirage. Two, perspective. Three, atmospheric effects. Courtesy of the channel Flat Earth Audio, the footage I filmed has been motion tracked and sped up so that you can see the change over a much shorter video. Okay, so you have seen the video, and now we need to go through the process of understanding what we saw by means of a scientific breakdown of the factors in play. Firstly, the inferior mirage. What effects is this having on the boat? Well, to get an answer to that, you need to trawl through the data at hand in other videos uploaded on my channel. Here we have a dog playing in the sands one mile away and intermittently being hidden by an inferior mirage, certainly not by earth curve. Here we have two shots of the same piece of land taken on different days. In one we have a very clear image. And on the other, an inferior mirage. The land we see on a clear day is hidden behind the inferior mirage. In effect, just as with the dog example, the air itself is causing a blockage by means of an inferior mirage. This effect, in both examples, is hiding the bottom of the target. Now, using logic and reason, knowing that the air is the medium in which the inferior mirage manifests itself, let's apply that same thought process to the boat. As the boat gets further away, the inferior mirage starts to block out the bottom of the boat. Essentially, the hull should be seen. And were it not for the inferior mirage, it would be. Just as with the video of the land you just watched. Does this thought process resonate with you? Do you believe the dog was bouncing in and out of the earth curve? Or that the land that we saw on a clear day was being loomed up by a process of refraction over the curvature of the earth? Isn't it more logical to think that the narrow viewing angle contributes to creating the effect of an inferior mirage and that that blockage is in the air and this is the cause of the lower part of the boat being hidden? Next, let's take a look at perspective. Things get smaller the further away they go. This image clearly shows the boat in different stages of its journey, getting perspectively smaller the further away it goes. The red line denotes the angle where the inferior mirage is taking place, and it is a consistent height above the waterline in each and every still shot. So the angle of the inferior mirage is not changing, however the boat certainly is getting further away and thus smaller and smaller to the point where half of the boat is now completely hidden behind that inferior mirage. This is perspective in play, and had it not been for the atmospheric effects in the last images, I'll get to that in a minute, then we would have seen the boat get so small that all of it would have been hidden behind that air layer that is causing the inferior mirage. Again, this goes without question, that critical analysis of these observations must always include perspective and must also include the ability to ask questions and then apply logic and reason to your analysis. Simply parroting a narrative will no longer cut it this boat is not going over Earth curve. Lastly, let's look at the atmospheric effects. 
Well, in the last few frames of the video, we see the boat vanish. The camera is no longer able to see it. In this exact case, did the boat disappear due to it going over the curve? Or was it due to the density of the atmosphere making the boat simply blend into the background? Let's take a critical look at the evidence. Here we have one of those last frames where the boat essentially is invisible. Now let's ramp up the colour and contrast and see if anything is still to be seen. You guessed it, the boat was indeed still there. You can clearly make out the top of the boat and an inferior mirage below it. Yes, the atmosphere is one of the main reasons why we cannot see for hundreds of miles at sea level. So in this entire video, did we actually see a boat go over the curvature of the Earth? Well, let's recap. The bottom of the dog, hidden by the inferior mirage. The bottom of the land, hidden by inferior mirage. The boat has an inferior mirage. What should be the next logical statement? I'll just say it. The bottom of the boat is hidden by the inferior mirage. Perspective. The boat is getting smaller as it goes further away. This perspective view of the boat brings the angle with which the inferior mirage starts much higher up the boat. This really is easy to understand when you apply logic and reason. Atmospheric effects. Yes, we cannot see through infinite amounts of atmosphere at sea level. It will eventually block everything out. Logic. I hope this demonstration has helped you to understand that the only people applying logic and reason in a scientific way right now, when it comes to the shape of the Earth, is flat earthers. To a globalist, this boat video was proof the boat went over a curve. Yet to the scientist in all of us, with some critical thinking, we can come to the very real conclusion that the Earth is flat and that no boat ever went over the curve of the Earth. Till next time. Ranty out.